back. It's Monkey Mike here with Monkey Wrench, and today we're going to make a bead roller out of this crimping tool. Easiest way to do that is we're just going to cut the top off right here. We're going to grind a little opening right there. We're going to take the nub off of the top side here, and yeah, let's get right to it. Well, there it is, folks. It's all done up. As you can see, that side was test run, and I also didn't cut it straight, so I was trying to, yeah. Well, it's, don't worry about that little guy. But this guy here, look at that. The beauty is you're never gonna see it. It's gonna be covered by silicone, so who cares, right? But that's definitely gonna work. Now, this is actually the necessity that made me wanna do that, is I didn't wanna have to buy a new one, and I cut this one a bit too short, so. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, it does look like there's enough room for the clamps to fit on either side, but just barely, probably not. So I, I don't know if it'll work, but that's not what we're worried about. What is cool is that we made this here. Now I did modify it quite a bit. You can see I gave it a little bit of space so it would round up in there. That's almost the gap of the metal. I should probably take it down just a little bit more. That way it quits pinching it. But regardless of which, let me give you a little bit of a test run. Take our pipe here. I like to use the lip. There you go. You pay attention to it, take your time. It'll look real nice. Give me just a minute and I'll show you. And there you have it. Check that out. Let me grab another piece. So, you can get... so here's what one of the other pipes looks like. Here's what my pipe looks like. So I could probably take down my flare just slightly, but I think that's fine. I, I really don't have a problem with it. Uh, the easiest way to do that as well is just to shave that down just a tiny bit more which i may make it the actual thickness of the metal that i'm squeezing here but i don't you know you don't see any issue where it looks like it's getting too thin walled again no one's gonna see it it's gonna be under silicone don't worry about being in a pretty show it's not a beauty contest it's about functional and making it work so some of the ways I made that happen was, as you see, I chopped the top off of it, okay? I ground the inside, well, all surfaces. I, I reshaped the inside of it to accommodate for how I wanted it to make the, uh, the bend here, or the, to make the crimp. Uh, essentially, it is still a crimping tool. So you just see it goes down and... So another thing too is that how hard you squeeze it is going to you know show how much because you can just do just a little bit so you could just do a tiny tiny bit it doesn't, doesn't really flare that much at all just a nice little bump there or if you really wanted to get into it which is kind of how i'm doing mine i'm giving it a good squeeze all the way as you can see, there, there's a profound difference. Come in there. And you can just walk it along. I'm holding it all awkward-like. Yeah, and that's, that's really it. Find your groove and just go for it. And again, you know, if you got access to a bead roller, that's cool, man. I really don't like spending money on stuff I don't need very much. This is the first time I've ever needed to do this. So, 
I mean, not really. I probably should have done it several times before. We're not going to be running ridiculous amounts of boost. But we are going to solve the problem. So no more of, you know, just straight pipe like this. Uh, I believe you can see right here where it's flared out. Um, and I didn't have to worry about connecting the pipe so much, except that this side is not at all. And on an NA application, that's not going to matter. But with boost, I'm pretty certain, especially, you know, we get up toward 15, 20 PSI. I don't want to have these things clamped down so tight that nothing can flex at all. I would rather have the little bit of a bead here and allow to have some room in between the pipe. That way it can move. Because you can see, I mean, it, it can move just a tiny bit, but it's extremely rigid just because of how tight I'm, I had to make it. So there you go. Now you can cut all the pipes you want, 20 bucks. You can make yourself your little DIY pipe crimping tool, tube crimping. I think it's tube crimpers, what, what we really want to call it. Yeah, all it took was, you know, a little grinder. Um, I did use the grinding wheel you see in the background right there. I used that and I used this guy to just kind of shape it. So again, that carbide tool, that tungsten carbide, that sucker right there, and this is the same one that I used for the last porting on the, uh, porting the turbo. So, they definitely do their job. They pay off real quick. There you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Peace.